Hello, welcome to new WinTR SCADA tutorial. In this tutorial, I will try to explain printing module of WinTR SCADA. I would like to indicate first, the only way printing in WinTR SCADA is not purchasing printing module. The screen we can see here is containing a chart and data grid objects which can contain huge amount of data. These objects can always send their contents to the printer. There is no need for purchasing print module for this. We can do it by right-clicking on the objects and selecting print menu. After giving this prior information, I can start talking about the print module of Vintiar SCADA. Print module is optional feature of Vintiar SCADA and it allows printing from the object functions such as clicking on the button or activation or deactivation of alarms. We can also create a barcode in Vintiar SCADA. Now, Let's perform these operations on a simple project. I'm specifying new project's name as a print project. And then I'm going to connection manager and creating the text that I want to locate in the print document. I will create three of unsigned tag and one bit tag. I'm creating this bit tag because of simulating the printing via PLC signal. And I'm closing the connection manager after creating the text. And I'm going to print document tab on control panel for designing the print document. The print page that will design is the rectangular area at the left. First, I'm resizing it by height and width properties. Then I am choosing a picture for the background that I previously made. I'm right clicking on the document and select add tag for the adding text to the document. This tag labels holds only current values of the text. So text historical values isn't displayed. For printing historical values, please refer to reporting tutorial. To determining which tag is displayed in the label, I'm right clicking on the label and select the tag. I'm selecting tag 2 for the second label and tag 3 for the third label. In this menu also labels font for color and back color can be determined and label can be deleted. Next I'm adding a barcode at the bottom of the document. Any setting that related to barcode can be made by clicking the properties from the its template menu. This will open the barcode wizard which contains all configurations related to barcode. Also we can set the barcode's value by selecting value tag from its right click menu. And text tag here determines the title of the barcode. We can also delete this barcode by selecting delete. The right click menu of print designer contains select object menu. This could be useful while making selections among the a lot of elements. Print to file folder in this menu defines the output folder if printing made into file. After designing the page, I'm clicking print preview. But it indicates that I need to make a selection of printer. I'm selecting the printer from the printer combo box. So you may need to make the selection at the target computer. If you want to save the output in a file, you need to select print image file here. The output will be saved previously selected folder. I'm clicking again print preview and I see the preview of the output. Now I can save this template. It asks for a name when I try to save. I'm giving print template's name to it. Now I can get the print out by calling this template from object functions or the alarms. Now I can save this template in with different name by clicking save as on the toolbar or delete it. 
and I can see the places in the middle combo box where this print template called from and the resolution can be set the box which is 96 that was the whole thing I want to say about the designer now let's see how can we use this template in the runtime as I mentioned before we can get print out when alarm activated or deactivated to demonstrate this I will create an alarm for the bit tag that I created when this text value became 1 an alarm will be created and this will trigger the print operation I determined the alarm message as a printing and I'm clicking the activated function button of the alarm the function wizard window opened in this window I am selecting saved print template and adding it to the function list and I'm closing this window by clicking OK I'm also closing the alarm manager and opening the screen designer I will create a simple screen so I click on new to running alarm activation and deactivation functions we have to put alarm view object on least one screen I am also adding a button on the screen for triggering the printing I am doing same thing that I made for the alarm for the buttons mouse down function as well therefore when I click on the button the document will be printed now I can switch to runtime mode in the runtime mode I'm clicking on the button and the document is printing now let's see the how can we print the document by PLC signal so I'm switching the development mode again first I will remove buttons printing function I'm opening this screen deleting the printing function from the mouse down function and simulating PLC signal by transferring value 1 to the tag 4 this is the only thing that will happen when clicked on the button I'm switching the runtime mode again and transferring value 1 to the tag 4 by pressing button. This will generate an alarm and document is sent to the printer. Similarly, reports can be generated by PLC signal as well. In this tutorial, I tried to demonstrate print feature of WinTR SCADA. Thanks for the watching.